Hi, I'm Brian English, full name Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to look at um, a local shared database. Now, need to sort of confirm right from the start, when we're talking about a local shared database, we're not talking about running MySQL or MariaDB database in the background on your machine. What we're actually talking about is effectively a shared Docker container which is running a database within that container which can be accessed from any of the projects that you are developing on your machine. So to do this, just as before, you need to have your Docker local installed and running. Um, you can see our previous site is there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that now a local database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to appear you see local services add a service, databases, and I'm going to have, you can see now MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, or Redis database in there. Um, and what I want to do is I'm just going to go for that first option of a um, MySQL database. This is going to be um, local DB shared, we'll call it. So there we are. We've got uh, that saved configuration that was quick and now we're just going to deploy that so now remember that's deployed it now to our docker container you see now we've got our database shared running in our local container so now we need a database table so we're going to add a new database in there and I'm going to call that um, just call it demo one so this is a database running on our database server and we need also a user to be able to do that. So Ryan, it'll generate our password for us. Now if we go back into our database properties, we can grant that user the appropriate access that they need. And that's great, but you're going to say, oh yeah, we've got an error. Uh, this is a very scary looking error message, but actually if I can translate it from um, error messages to um, a simple bit of English, it means give me a bit of time because I haven't actually set this up. And this is really what I say to people, it's time to go and make your cup of tea, get your beer, whatever you're going to do, because this can sometimes be as long as 10 minutes. If we just keep refreshing, eventually you'll see that it will go live and uh, that's just purely down to the time it takes to set the appropriate bits of this uh, container up. So let's open our project, select our targets, we're in our development target and if you come down here you can see now that at the moment it's running a, data, a docker database that's built inbuilt into that um, container that we are using to deploy online. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that now to Cloud database, database server is that new local DB shed that we've created and the database is demo one. And save, as easy as that, we've now switched all of the database functions over from our um, single Docker container to that shared database container that we already had, now that we uh, have just created. Um, and that really is it. That's all that we need to do to create that local database. So let's have just have a quick look over through our connection settings, just so we know that we're uh, doing things right. DB, direct connection. We see now it has picked up that new demo database with the uh, big, long, complicated password um, on the appropriate ports test that we've got our connection no problem at all tables if you've just swapped that over from a um, docker container to our docker database you might still see some uh, sample tables in there I will just do a refresh full schema and if you really want to see we can actually now create a table Create your fields.
Choose a name. We can commit those to our database. Um, so let's create users table. Okay. See so now that we've uh, we've successfully completed that particular action. And if we look at our changes here, we can see that that change is ready for replication over onto our remote database. So that concludes setting up our local database. That was very, very straightforward. And uh, we're now going to do that with the resource manager for a cloud-based database as well, which we'll be using to replicate that to. And that really is as equally as simple. So uh, I hope to see you in that as soon as possible.